Another great day. This video is a continuation of connecting to database. We will use additional elements which is the use of forms. We will input the credentials from form. Save that to app config. So let's start this project now. Let's use our previous project we have here to my server. If you remember in my first video, this is the testing the connection. Now we will update the add config to the use of with the use of form. So first let's create a class. Let's name this config First, let's create a method to get the value from our settings. So let's make it static, static, public static string get value. Then let's ask a parameter which is the k. What was the k you were you were looking for? Then let's return the value. Return. Configuration manager. Not app settings. Yep. The K. Not value. A to string. There you go. Which is the K from our app config. This is the K. The value. So we have another K. So let's go back to our my server. This one can be short shortened. It's now config that get value. Like that one. Or it can be shortened again on the previous version. Right? Let's complete that one. Okay, I'm just replace replacing the old one with the new one. And there you go. Oops. It's a shortcut for read only. There, we have heard the get value. Now, let's create another method to set the value. St public static string set value. So again, we have the k parameter and the value parameter. Let's, we have heard the up config is equals to configuration configure configuration manager that open open exe configuration which is Configuration user level none. Okay. N now let's have the add config that settings. Settings that okay. Oops. That settings. Then which is the K. Then let's put the value plus to our parameter value and up config let's save configuration save mode configuration it should be here configuration let's type that config Configuration 
Yun. That one. Configuration, save mode, that modified. So, so the file should be modified. Then, let's refresh the configuration manager. Configuration manager. Configuration. Configuration manager. That refresh section app settings this one app settings oh why did I set it should be void app settings should be capital yeah yeah app settings app settings now we have the get value and we have the set value so so let's go back to the form we already have the method here we have the form which is from our previous video the test connection now i've added the another four text box in the save button so for our easy mapping i named them this txt server txt database txt user id and txt password so let's save that one press it the message box that show No, this is the title message in the caption. This is message. Yeah. Accessfully modified. Now let's use our button. We have the. You remember we have our config. Let's set value. The key. And the value which is txt server that text we have four text field txt database txt user id txt password so we have our server the settings for database we have the user id and if you are asking about the server, it's right here. This is the key server database user ID password. That one. Okay. Let's add some form if we, so that we can see the value of our config settings. When you start up, I place a value, a blank value. So let's check that one is equals to config that get value server There you go, it's blank. So you can check to the bin folder of our project. The config, this is one. Let's check the app settings here. So it is blank. Now let's provide some credentials. I have here the server. Let's copy that one. And we're using the demo database. I have here my username. And the password save first successfully modified let's check should be let's see yes to refresh there you go take effect then let's test the connection 
Oh, login failed for user Betsu. Why? Okay. That's the big... As you can see, it should be small letter. So, let's update that one. Save. There you go. Test connection. Connection succeed. So, that's it. We have created a form. With a connection. Okay, let's create a class. Save and that to say the get value set value in app settings. So thank you for watching my video.